Visualization is a powerful tool that can help you achieve your goals and create your desired reality. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of my new videos before we delve into the details. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Visualization is the practice of imagining what you want to achieve in the future as if it were true today. It involves using all five senses sight, smell, touch, taste, and hearing to create a vivid mental picture of your desired outcome. Visualization activates your subconscious mind, which is responsible for attracting and manifesting your goals. It also boosts your confidence, motivation, and creativity, and reduces stress and anxiety. But why does visualization work? How can our thoughts and emotions influence our reality? To answer these questions, we need to look at the wisdom of Hermes Trismegistus and the Hermetic tradition. Hermes Trismegistus was a legendary figure who was believed to be the source of the Hermetic writings, a collection of texts that reveal the secrets of the universe and the nature of the human soul. Hermes Trismegistus was a synthesis of the Greek god Hermes and the Egyptian god Thoth, both of whom were associated with writing, magic, and wisdom. The Hermetic tradition teaches that a single principle connects everything in the universe, as above, so below, as within, so without. This means that our thoughts and emotions have a direct influence on our external circumstances, and vice versa. Therefore, if we want to change our reality, we need to change our inner state first. And one of the most effective ways to do that is through visualization. Visualization helps us to align our thoughts and emotions with our goals and values and to create a positive feedback loop between our inner and outer worlds. As we visualize our desired outcomes, we generate positive emotions such as joy, gratitude, and love, which in turn attract more positive experiences and opportunities into our lives. And as we experience more positive results, we reinforce our beliefs and expectations, which further enhance our visualization power. There are many visualization techniques that you can use to improve your life, but in this video, I will focus on three of them, goal visualization, positive reinforcement, and process visualization. Let's look at each one in detail. Goal visualization is the technique of picturing a specific future outcome that you want to achieve, such as getting a promotion, finding your soulmate, or traveling the world. The key to goal visualization is to make it as realistic and detailed as possible and to feel the emotions that you would feel if you already had what you wanted. For example, if you want to get a promotion, you can visualize yourself receiving the news from your boss, celebrating with your colleagues, and enjoying the benefits of your new position. You can also imagine the challenges and obstacles that you might face and how you would overcome them with confidence and skill. The purpose of goal visualization is to create a clear vision of your destination and to program your subconscious mind to work towards it. Positive reinforcement is the technique of surrounding yourself with affirmations and positive thoughts that support your goals and values. Affirmations are statements that express your beliefs and intentions in a positive and present tense, such as I am successful and happy, I attract abundance and prosperity, or I am worthy and deserving of love. Positive thoughts are thoughts that focus on the positive aspects of your current situation, such as I am grateful for the opportunities that I have, I am proud of my achievements, or I am optimistic about the future. The purpose of positive reinforcement is to create a positive mindset and attitude and to eliminate any negative or limiting beliefs that might hinder your progress. Process visualization is the technique of imagining the actions that you need to take to move closer to your goals, such as studying, working, networking, or exercising. The key to process visualization is to make it as realistic and detailed as possible and to feel the emotions that you would feel if you were performing the action successfully. For example, if you want to travel the world, you can visualize yourself researching your destinations, booking your flights and hotels, packing your bags, and exploring new places. You can also imagine the challenges and obstacles that you might encounter, such as language barriers, cultural differences, or unexpected events, and how you would deal with them with curiosity and adaptability. The purpose of process visualization is to create a clear plan of action and to program your subconscious mind to execute it. These three techniques of goal visualization, 
positive reinforcement, and process visualization can help you visualize correctly and experience a positive shift in your life. But there are some important points that you need to remember when using them. First, you need to break down your big goals into smaller, manageable tasks. This will help you to avoid feeling overwhelmed or discouraged, track your progress, and celebrate your achievements. For example, if you want to travel the world, you can start by choosing one destination that you want to visit and then plan your trip step by step. You can also set a deadline for each task and reward yourself for completing it. Second, you need to maintain flexibility in your approach. This means that you should be open to changing your plans or methods if they are not working for you or if new opportunities arise. You should also be prepared to face unexpected challenges or setbacks, learn from them, and adjust accordingly. For example, if you want to get a promotion, you might find out that there is no vacancy in your department or that you have to compete with other candidates. In that case, you can look for other options, such as applying for a different position or improving your skills and qualifications. Third, you need to understand the concept of intention and how it affects your visualization power. Intention is the force that drives your actions and attracts your outcomes. There are two types of intention, inner intention and outer intention. Your inner intention is your personal determination and willpower to achieve your goals. Your outer intention is your belief and expectation that you will achieve your goals. Both types of intention are important, but they work differently. Inner intention is the force that you use to overcome obstacles and challenges and to take action towards your goals. It is based on your conscious choice and effort. Outer intention is the force that you use to align your goals with the natural flow of the universe and to attract the resources and opportunities that you need. It is based on your subconscious trust and surrender. The key to using intention effectively is to balance both types of intention and align them with your deep values and purpose. For example, if you want to find your soulmate, you can use your inner intention to improve yourself and to put yourself out there, and you can use your outer intention to trust that the universe will bring you the right person at the right time. Now that you have learned the three techniques of goal visualization, positive reinforcement, and process visualization and the important points to remember when using them, you are ready to move on to the next phase of your journey. When envisioning your ideal self, consider what qualities, values, and accomplishments you aspire to. Your ideal self is the person that you want to become, the person that you know you can be, and the person that you are meant to be. Your ideal self is the embodiment of your goals, values, and purpose. Your ideal self is the ultimate expression of your potential and creativity. To envision your ideal self, you need to do two things, imagine your extraordinary abilities and define your key habits. Your extraordinary abilities are the skills or talents that you want to develop or enhance, that will make you stand out from the crowd, and that will bring you joy and fulfillment. They can be anything that you are passionate about, such as playing an instrument, speaking a language, or solving a problem. To imagine your extraordinary abilities, you need to do two things, choose five abilities that you want to have, and visualize yourself having them. For example, you can choose to have the ability to play the guitar, speak French, write a book, run a marathon, or code a website. Then, you can visualize yourself playing the guitar in front of an audience, speaking French with a native speaker, holding your published book in your hands, crossing the finish line of a marathon, or launching your website online. You can also imagine the emotions that you would feel, such as happiness, pride, and satisfaction. Your key habits are the behaviors or routines that you want to adopt or maintain, that will support your goals and values, and that will improve your health and well-being. They can be anything that you know is good for you, such as meditating, reading, exercising, or sleeping. To define your key habits, you need to do two things, choose five habits that you want to have and write them down. For example, you can choose to have the habits of meditating for 10 minutes every morning, reading for 30 minutes every day, exercising for an hour three times a week, sleeping for eight hours every night, or drinking eight glasses of water every day. Then, you can write them down on a piece of paper, on your phone, or on your computer, and keep them somewhere visible and accessible. 
By imagining your extraordinary abilities and defining your key habits, you have created a clear direction for your personal growth, and you have aligned your daily actions with the traits of your ideal self. However, you have not completed the process yet. There is one more phase that you need to go through to complete your transformation. The embodiment phase. The embodiment phase is the phase where you integrate the concepts and techniques that you have learned and consciously shape your behavior and mindset to match your ideal self. It is the phase where you act as if you already are your ideal self and where you feel as if you already have what you want. This is the phase where you become your ideal self. The embodiment phase is not a one-time event but a continuous process that requires your awareness and commitment. It involves applying the three techniques of goal visualization, positive reinforcement, and process visualization to every aspect of your life and to every moment of your day. It also involves being mindful of your thoughts, emotions, and actions and correcting them if they are not aligned with your goals and values. Is also the most rewarding phase of your journey. It is the phase where you will experience the most resistance but also the most growth. It is the phase where you will face the most doubts, but also the most breakthroughs. It is the phase where you will make the most mistakes, but also the most achievements. You are living in harmony with yourself, with others, and with the universe. You are living in a state of flow, where everything happens effortlessly and naturally. You are living in a state of abundance, where you have everything that you need and want. You are living in a state of joy, where you appreciate every moment and every experience. The embodiment phase is the phase where you will witness the positive shift in your life. Your goals will become reality, your dreams will come true, and your desires will be fulfilled. Your extraordinary abilities will develop, your key habits will establish, and your ideal self will manifest. Your thoughts and emotions will shape your reality, and your reality will shape your thoughts and emotions. But remember, the embodiment phase is not the end of your journey but the beginning of a new one. It is not a destination, but a journey. It is not a final state, but a dynamic state. It is not a fixed identity but a fluid identity. You are always evolving, growing, and learning. You are always discovering new aspects of yourself, new possibilities of your reality, and new dimensions of your existence. Therefore, you should never stop visualizing, never stop reinforcing. You should never stop imagining, never stop creating, and never stop living. You should never stop being your ideal self, and you should never stop becoming your ideal self. This is how you visualize correctly, and this is how you experience a positive shift in your life immediately. This is how you transform yourself, and this is how you transform your world. This is how you live your best life and this is how you inspire others to do the same. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I will try to answer them. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for notifications on my new videos. I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep reinforcing, and keep visualizing. And remember, as Hermes Trismegistus said, as above, so below, as within, so without. Peace and love to you all.